Hi guys, so let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Sagis. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Link down there in the description box for personal services. Um, there's one question, two question. And for question, there's different kinds, so just check it out um, if it's available. If it's not, then just try again. Um, so that's that one, okay? Um, if you're gonna, if you guys want to go proceed with the main read, you can proceed with the main read here, okay? I'm using tarot and oracle, and then let me see. Um, we're gonna get each zodiac for each element. If it's not your life, you don't have to watch it. Meaning, mind your own business. Okay, <laughs> that's how it is. Okay. <laughs> So it's not your life, it's not your problem. How you feel to the reading is how the reading feels towards you. It's mutual. It's always mutual with the reading. It's an energy. Okay, so you hate it, it hates you back. Three times. Normally it's called. Okay, here we go. If you love it, it loves you three times back. Here we go. We got here. Um, dealing with the Taurus. Here we go. Let's see. Dealing with the Taurus. Hierophant. Let's see. Dealing with the Taurus. Here we go. Let's see. You got here Ace of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So you're waiting for a spark, a new beginning, or for a situation to get resolved. Uh huh. With the Taurus. So you've been patient, or they've been patient with you. Well, someone is being patient here and waiting, though, because the, um, the connection has been established already. Meaning, you know, it's like you guys have been together. This is not a new date. Okay. Ace of Wands is a spark. So let's see what's going on there next time. Okay. Or it can be a message only because the ones are message also. So they haven't talked to you and you're waiting for this person to reach out. Let's go with a water sign. Okay. There we go. We got here death card. Okay, which is Scorpio. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay, with a Scorpio, got a King of Cups and the Chariot. So someone here is determined now to move the connection or either to move away from you because the Chariot will move, okay? So they're going to trust the intuition. They're going to find out something, this duality over here, the two things. Once they figure that out, this water sign, Scorpio energy is King of Cups, they're going to go. Either go together or go, like they separate with you. Okay, because that's that energy here. Let me see here. Air sign. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Air sign. Gemini. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the Gemini. Let's see here. Then with the Gemini. You got Nine of Cups and the Five of Wands. Um, there's a struggle between the two of you on how. It's just like, what do you guys want from each other? What makes the connection happy? Okay, five of wands is like, you know, it's like you just, you guys just don't meet each other eye to eye with anything. Like things can be happy one day, nine of cups, and then five of wands is like a SHIT show right away. It's like you guys can be having a good dinner, and then by the end of the dinner, you're at each other's throat with a Gemini. That's that one. Okay, let me see here. Fire sign, let's see here. Fire sign, 
We got here Aries. Sag did more than Aries. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Empress and the Seven of Wands. Someone realized their value, either you or this person, okay? And they're drawing the line now. They This is not Burger King. You can't have it your way with this person. Either you or this person, because they're saying it's like, I know my self worth. This is where I stand. You can, you know, it's like you can try all you want. You know, it's like, but you have to try because mm -hmm. they're setting up healthy boundaries on their end. Alrighty. So let's start with the main read. Okay, here we go. Let's see. For my Sagis. Okay, here we go, Sag. We got between worlds number three and come to the edge. I like it. It's interesting because it's almost a like counter. Yeah. It's the message is contradicting with three and thirty-six. So you see someone's being pushed to the edge and one is like basically half ready. So you could also be like closing a chapter of your life, you're just waiting for a closure, and the other person is being forced right now to give you that closure. Um, if it's about ending of a cycle. Um, but it's like you're very torn right now, either to just um give this a chance or totally forget it. Like, you know, it's like you're in a cliffhanger position basically with the situation or the person that you are dealing with okay so let's see here mm -hmm. let's see let's see let's see we got here the moon card okay so this is the two of you you could you guys could have a wonderful vacation recently spend a nice time in a hotel mm -hmm. see that one or this is how you know this is a passing energy this was a phase this was a stage in the connection where it's like things was wonderful i love them i care about the person sound you know it's like we connect deeply with the moon card our intuitions were in sync like they know how i feel and vice versa you know it's like it's just a wonderful emotional connection sound mm -hmm. and you felt it okay with the moon card you guys scared for each other okay hermit card okay um someone here is looking for good old memories between the two of you um you know it says like they're looking for proof of love i don't know what does that what's mean what does that mean someone is looking for a proof of love um with the hermit card also it's like um let me see it's not snooping around but it's almost like um if you guys have separated this person has always been thinking about good memories nostalgia can be because the hermit here is like seeking the light, but the light to connect, you know, with you. Like, okay, should I reach out with a Sag, you know, if it's a Virgo? Or it can be a Cancerian also with the moon card. Okay. Let's see. You got the high priestess. Wow. So, um, both of you are in separation, I feel. One is going to studies in school and the other person is a professional can be. Um, if it's not, it's a someone here is not, both of you are not talking to each other um, and doing your own thing. Like they're busy, you're busy. Okay. Um, with this energy, I feel like, why are you guys not talking? Because it's almost like you met and you're doing your thing and now there's no communication. Other Because hermit normally is they needed some space, and the other person, all right, then if you need some space, then um, we're not going to talk. Mm -hmm. And then someone here knows wants to talk. Oh, and definitely, magician. Mm -hmm. Can be a Virgo, Gemini, uh, but this is Jaysha, the Scorpio for me. So someone here will talk to you and make an effort now. They were in recluse for some time, and if you're expecting this person to make a move, they're about to make a move now. Because that's a magician. You have different tricks here. Oh, not only. Star card. So you met this person in a one once a month. Like once a month or once every blue moon. So it's very rare that you guys will meet. But at some point, you know, it's like the magician is manifesting things. You're manifesting this. And both of you will come together. Right here. It's a star card. It's destined. Okay. Two people who are destined here with a moon card is destined to come back again with a star card. Divine timing is already at work here, having the star card. Let me see. Uh huh. I uh, got a page of pentacles here. Someone can be busy at work right now, and they're still thinking of you, putting in extra hour, extra time at work, and it's you that they've been thinking. 
and you have the tower here so it can be a relocating thing that you guys are gonna be facing with the tower um, I don't sense breakup I sense something changing between the connection that will bring back the two of you because you can't break up if you guys are not together <laughs> so this is something something will happen that will bring you guys back together because I told you it's just like you guys are separated already so you can't have separated on top of separation I don't understand how that will work okay that's call, that's calling you're gonna delete this person in your life but you're not deleting this they're manifesting this and you are manifesting so the tower moment will be that surprise energy where it's just like it's an energy shift um, in their life and in your life that will bring you guys um, in union here with the star card meaning that's it's something divine like they can be, you know, it's like, you know, it's like I always see that as a, the tower is that they're, they have a work, they have a job, they have a life over there, but things change, you know, things change in people's lives that will bring you to, you know, they can be relocated, they can be asked, hey, you need to relocate here, da, 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 and then they're going to move closer to you. So two people are being pinned down, okay, to be together here, okay, which is good. I like it. And the offer is here with the page of cups. Page of Pentacles here, it's just like, you know, it's like an offering of a gift. So I might get a gift from this person also. But the most important thing here is like how you guys have met. You guys felt each other. They're very deeply connected. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box for the extended everything you need. Um, what else? You have Instagram over there. We'll get each of the Zodiac here. And then I think that's it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys. Okay, that's why I'm telling you someone is on the way to persuade you to pursue you to offer you that coin It's a Pentacles is about you know, okay, so I told you twist of fate I said what is that tower moment? Hmm. All of a sudden you guys are in a commitment. So you, it's not about separation. It's about all of a sudden you Scorpio Okay, Sag um, With the Scorpio either this person is with you or they're gonna leave you Okay, judgment. Okay, so it's a fork in the road.